Hi there, today we're going to be learning how to make this purple crinoline fascinator. If you saw our last video, it was shown to ask if you would like to see how it was made and some of you have said yes. And so, today I'm showing you how it was made. I would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers and for those just joining us you are most welcome to the Ventcraft channel. We hope to say thank you in our next video because we are sure you would click that subscribe button and everyone please do ensure you like, comment and share this video. You are needing your scissors, your uhu gum, your Alice band with your elastic band already attached to it. You'll be needing the spike in feathers. You'll be needing flour. Now we have two because I'm going to be using one to make another one. You would see the picture at the end of this video. Then you have your stiff crinoline. Now this particular one is one inch. As we go along, you will know the measurements of what you'll be needing. This is one inch and it is stiff as you can see. All right, then we have the next one, which is two inches is also a stiff crinoline now, if you want to know the names of crinolines and the various types you can join us in crinoline masters class then this is also our bias that we'll be making use of and our matching thread with needle and of course your measurement tape so the first thing you want to do is gauge the bowl the size of the bowl you would want to make now that's what i'm doing here by sizing it like this okay once you get the exact size that you want then you can release it as you would see me do now and take your measurement tape and measure now the size i actually used to make mine is 18 inches that's the first bowl that i attached to the alice band so the way you want to do it first of all is that you're going to knot the two edges now while we're knotting and you know how to knot i would go ahead to talk about our crinoline masters class that we have available now the crinoline masters class lets you know everything about crinoline the types of crinoline, how to manipulate them, how to use them to make um, hats, um, fascinators, hair clips and much more. I do advise you to join us by clicking the description of this video. You will see the Ventcraft Academy reception. Click on it and then make your request for crinoline master's class. If you get there actually we do have a game challenge right now on and you might win to attend it for less than the current price. So let's get back to today's tutorial. So actually I tried to wrap it up that way and I decided no the best would be first of all to sew the two um, edges together like you can see me do that's after I've sewn the two separately so I'm sewing it together now you get the midpoint you want your bow the two sides to be equal and then you're going to sew ensuring that you pass your thread around to bring it together to give it that boppy look at the two sides so that's what I'm doing right now keep watching and learning once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is take your Alice band and place that bowl at the side. Now I'm a side person, I'm sure you must have noticed with all my tutorials and I like to put my things on the side. If you're a side person, hit me up in the comment section and say, I'm a side person. All right, so now why sewing it to the Alice band? What you're going to do is you're going to be taking your needle past the cloth that is attached to the Alice band that's how you get it standing there and you're going to try and make it go a little bit distant so you're going to like um, um so one inch apart that would help to hold it firmly and it would stand and not be folding you will see as I go along I would also be doing some reinforcement to ensure that it keeps on staying in that place so this is the first bow that I'm attaching keep watching and learning
now if you cannot find any of these items used in your local store i'll be dropping the links to amazon and aliexpress and also my own link they would be in the description so you can ride on and go there and purchase your items okay so now i've made another bow now this is 16 inches it's two inches less than the first one so that gives it um a kind of gap a, a unique look on top of it so now i'm going to be sewing it on top of that one that i've already put on the alice band keep watching and learning Now this next one that I'm attaching is actually 14 inches. I first of all sized it because I have the way that I want it to appear. So what I'm doing is doing that first check, something like that that I did previously to see how it would be because I just wanted it at the corner and take notes. This one that I'm using is the one inch stiff crinoline. The first one was the two inch stiff crinoline. This is the one inch stiff crinoline. So I have 14 inches that I'm using right now to attach and i'm going to sew it like i did the other one but you can see the way i'm placing it i'm placing it that one edge is going adjacent to the other sort of it's um like a diagonal that is forming on top of the two inch um width crinoline keep watching and learning After I was done with that, I measured out 16 inches and did a loop the same way you did the loop for the other one. But now you can see how I'm placing them. I'm placing them side by side to each other and I'm sewing them together before I attach them to the other design that I've made already on the crinoline, on the fascinator. You get what I mean. <laughs> okay i hope you're getting how i'm placing them so this i'm placing close to the other one that i put before and you can see i'm placing it to stand not like um how did i put it to lap the other way i put the two inches is standing um, i hope you understand what i mean by standing it's standing but just look you will get it <laughs> all right Okay, now someone actually told me that I should be making a, like a pack, a kit, a um, DIY kit for each of the videos I do so that you can get the, um, you can just order for the kit and have your own to make exactly. So if you want the DIY kit, please do let me know in the comment section and say, I want DIY kit so that I'll try and see how I can do that for all my videos uploaded. And after that i pulled out the feathers that i had on the flower it was looking brown and i didn't want that i want it's all purple so i pulled that out and i noticed the flower flipped open now that i made use of uhu gum to put it together that's the best glue i believe to use in that situation and after i was done with that i started sewing it on top of the other designs that i have made now when you sew flowers what you do is you ensure that you raise up the petals to bring out your thread and pass it back through the petals underneath so that's what i did and you ensure you go around the flower so that it sits properly on your design
next thing I did was to do a dash of the feathers I just used two feathers to put around you can make it more but sometimes simple is beautiful how many of you feel so if you feel so do let me know in the comment section below After that I measured out um, strips of um, bias that would cover up the back and I covered it in a way that it was going to look very pretty. And that's how I made this pretty looking purple crinoline fascinator. Remember I said that there was one other flower left? Yeah, this is what I used to make this one. So if you would like to see this other design, how I made it, do write in the comment section below. Please make for me the second purple crinoline fascinator. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and then check out this nest crinoline fascinator.